Question 1. Each of the two configurations shown is called a diode-connected transistor. For each circuit, find expressions for the current I, this current, as a function of the voltage V, of Kn and Vtn as well, and the same for this P channel transistor. Find also the incremental resistance of that device, R, defined as the inverse of DIDV for the transistor, also in terms of V, KN, and VTN. Let me copy the circuit here when I can make uh, easier drawings. I identify the terminals. This is the gate. This is the drain. And down here is the source. Mm, so the voltage of this uh, diode connected transistor V is VDS. That's right, this is VDS. And the current of the diode connected transistor is the drain current. Why is that? Because this current is zero amps, we know that. So the diode current is just the drain current down here. Oh, excellent. So the next thing is we need to identify the state of operation of the transistor. Is it uh, in saturation or perhaps in triode mode? What about cutoff? No, it's not in cutoff because the current ID is not zero. We have only two options. It is in saturation or it is in triode mode of operation. To decide that, we need to explore the voltages in it. We need to compare VDS with the overdrive voltage VOV, which is a VGS, the voltage of the gate, with respect to the source, minus the threshold voltage. Hmm. But we realize that because of the diode-connected transistor, VG is VD, or we say VDS is actually V. GS as well. If we subtract VT from both, we get that VDS minus the threshold. Threshold voltage is VGS minus the threshold voltage, which is who? The overdrive voltage. That's right. Um, but then that means that VDS, this one, is V overdrive plus VT, which is a positive value for the n-channel transistor, and that is more than VOV. So that means the transistor is indeed in saturation. So we found the transistor is operating in saturation, and we know what is the relationship between the drain current and the VDS. What was that? Oh, that current, that ID, was one-half Kn multiplied by VOD squared, and that is by VGS minus VT squared, and in this case by VDS minus VT squared. And that is the current of this um, diode connected transistor as a function of its voltage. Current in the diode as a function of VDS the voltage in a diode. Observe that this so-called diode has a characteristic that looks like this one. Allow me. This is the current axis, the current in the diode. And here we have the voltage in the diode VDS. It will start conducting as soon as VDS is greater than VT. So, for voltages below Vt, the current is zero. And after that, that current increases with a parabola. This is a parabola. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to find DIDV. We want to find at a point here, Vds, what is the slope of the tangent to this curve? This slope. 
we want to find that slope and the inverse of that slope is going to be R the incremental resistance of the diode at this point let's find it well let me find first what is um, DI with respect to the voltage in the diode which is VDS that is one half KN um, times 2 times the and derivative of this term with respect to VDS which is 1 multiplied by VDS minus VT these two cancel out these two um, the inverse of that is by definition the dynamic resistance of that diode is the inverse of that is going to be 1 divided by KN that multiplies the voltage in the diode connected transistor minus the threshold of voltage and that is the solution for this uh, configuration of the N channel MOSFET I invite the student to do the same for the PMOS on the right hand side same solutions let's go now on with question 2 question 2 has four configurations in this one we have a diode connected transistor mm -hmm. we're asked to find what is V1 this voltage well that one is going to be the voltage of the diode V in DS is just to V1 the current is given by this current source which is a 0 0.1 milliamp current source that current in the gate we know it's 0 amps so 0 0.1 milliamps is the is a current through the diode connected transistor so we write 0 0.1 milliamps the current in the diode connected transistor is as we learned before one half kn who is kn kn is 2 milliamps per volt square so 2 milliamps that multiplies a VDS which is V1 minus the threshold of voltage so 1 and all of that goes squared and we solve for V1 and V1 is the answer we're looking for we cancel these two with these two we cancel this milli with this milli and then we enter the equation in the calculator I'm using X instead of V1 because it's easier to type um, highlight, highlight, highlight the, uh, both uh, to the second part. That is my equation, and I say symbolic solver, solve for x, and the answers are for that voltage either 1.3 or 0.68 volts. One of them, of course, two answers, two solutions, because this is a quadratic equation. Which one is the right one? If we choose V1 to be 0 0.68 volts, the overdrive voltage is going to be negative, and that contradicts the, the known fact that this transistor is saturated. So this cannot be the answer. The voltage is 1.32 volts. That is the answer. The voltage here is 1.32 volts. Let's move on to the second question, this one here. Hmm. Well, the gate and the drain are connected at the same voltage. So you see, in a convoluted way, they're telling us that this is actually a diode-connected transistor. Well, it's the same transistor we had before. Yes, and the current is the same current we had before, 0 0.1 milliamps imposed by this current source same current same transistor same connection that means that this uh, voltage here has to be 1.32 volts the voltage here is 1 it then means that the voltage here is 1 minus 132 this voltage v2 is negative 0 0.32 volts good let's move on and now let's solve this uh, pmos diode connected transistor Mm -hmm. the current in it 
again this current is going to be 0 0.1 milliamps it's a datum over here this is also a diode connected transistor you see that the gate is connected to the drain same voltage it has the same parameters in a P version as a transistor Q1 and Q2 the current is the same so that means that this voltage again if you do the math you're gonna get that this voltage is also 132 volts I invite you to do that V3 is 1.32 volts higher than the reference node and the last one well the last one is the same transistor connected as a diode up here it's a PMOS transistor the current is still the same 0 0.1 milliamps and that signifies this current here is 0 amps and then the voltage here continues to be 1.32 volts 5 minus 1.32 volts 368 volts and that is the solution to this question